I have to say this because I know our <laughs> spirit and our emotions get stirred. I'm not against nobody on the panel. I'm with everybody on the panel. I'm not di diametrically opposed to anybody on the panel. I agree with everything my brother said about revolutionaryism. So let me ask you guys a few questions. We're in the South. We're in the heart of the South right now. Who fishes? Who knows how to fish? Hands down. Who knows how to hunt? Less hands. Hands down. Who shoots on a regular basis, meaning once or twice weekly? Hands down. Now you see how many hands? Who farms or grows their own food right now? Mm. Hands down. You ain't ready to oppose nothing. You are as a part of this system as any white person gentrifying in this city. And you can't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about because I've lived in this neighborhood long enough to know when, every, when two out of every five yards had a garden in the back. I'm old enough to know him when the Muslim community was the strongest security force and food their own food force in this community. Black people, I love you, and I love you enough to tell you, you ain't ready to revolt shit. You don't feed yourself. You don't hunt your own animals and slaughter them. You don't prepare up your own meat. You don't own your own land. You don't have a seed growing in your window. So when you think about revolutionarism and you think about fighting and dying in the street, you ain't shit if you can't feed your children. You ain't nothing if you can't teach your children to hunt. I've been hearing this revolutionary talk all my life. All my life, I've been seeing leaders get before me and tell me how much of a strong warrior. And just like the United States Army, just like the military, I've seen their words, send black boys off to die in the street, fighting and arguing with police. You have no win. He was innocent and he got 19 years. His mama couldn't afford the right lawyer. His dad didn't know a senator. You have no wins. If you, how many of you practice a martial art today? Who practices a martial art today? How many boys are practicing a martial art in your community today? Today. That's what I'm saying. We not ready to fight. You say fight back, fight the police. The police are trained to shoot. They're trained in martial combat. We're not. What are we going to do? Now, I'm not saying give up. I'm not saying you can't train yourself. But what I'm saying is if you're not training every week, if you're not shooting every week, if you're not knowing how to grow your own food, arguing with me and arguing with the police ain't going to do nothing. Because oh. if we all oh. leave right now, Let if we talk. all leave right now and we got a speeding ticket, we ain't all going to agree not to pay it. You understand what I'm saying? I agree we still slaves. I'm telling you right now today, Malcolm said by any means necessary, by any means necessary, and we're talking about children. We're talking about young men. These boys aren't even intelligent enough yet not to know what girl not to like. They're not even intelligent enough yet not to know how to, I always should have a condom. They're not even intelligent enough yet to know not to argue with their teachers. Don't send these babies off to die because you didn't die when you was 21. Don't you send these babies off to die because you feel like you missed the 60s and the 70s. I want to see more black attorneys, more black law enforcement. I want to see more black people pooling their money to run their own candidates. I want to see more black police officers that are from the neighborhood. Neighborhood. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they tried to leave one time and they formed Liberia. Look at Liberia now. Look at what Haiti did. They revolted. Every European country punishes Haiti for revolting. So if you're not going to revolt tomorrow, if you're not going to do like Elijah said and take all the southern states, if you're not going to gentrify Alabama, stop trying to grow warriors to fight a fight. You too scared to fight. You pay your speed tickets. You ain't not paying your tickets. You you ain't telling kids how to bust out every car window. And then when they riot, you never there with them. When they riot, where's the church? Where are the teachers? Where are the institutions? So I'm just saying, you do what you want to. But as for me in my house, I'm going to raise a warrior that knows how to use his hands, knows how to use his mind, and loves the people with his heart. Your job. Your job is to survive the encounter. Survive the encounter. And when daddy gets there with a lawyer, when daddy makes sure you got a judge that looks like you, we'll deal with that other shit. But you survive the encounter, young man. Don't you die on the side of the goddamn street like a dog.